Good morning, and welcome to another segment of the WIRF Report for January 18th, Keep America Vigilant 2022. Red Handed. Video that has surfaced online exposes fake Dr. Anthony Fauci with indisputable proof that he lied to Congress on his agency's involvement with gain-of-function research, which amounts to perjury, a felony punishable with up to five years in prison where he belongs. The video features a series of clips which include Fauci speaking to Congress and also giving previous speeches where he said the exact opposite. For example, in one of the clips from May 11th, Fauci told Congress, quote, the NIH has not ever and does not now fund gain-of-function research. In another clip, which shows Fauci giving some sort of speech or presentation, he stated, quote, There were studies done by two NIH-NIAID-funded investigators, Ron Fouché and Yoshi Kowaioka, in which H5N1, a strain from Indonesia and a strain from Vietnam, were altered in a gain-of-function. But that's not all. Take a look at this video, folks. Fauci is toast. And we're not in this room discussing so many of the other gain of function research that we do. NIH has not ever and does not now fund gain of function research. There were studies done by two NIH, NIAID funded investigators, Ryan Fouché and Yoshi Kawaioka, in which H5N1, a strain from Indonesia and a strain from Vietnam, were altered in a gain of function. I will repeat again, the NIH and NIAID categorically has not funded gain of function research. And integral to that study has always been the issue of gain of function research, not only for influenza, but essentially for all infectious diseases research. Now, there are a few ways to look at gain of function research. I don't know how many times I can say it, Madam Chair. We did not fund gain of function research. This is as black and white as it gets, folks. Anthony Fauci materially lied to Congress. If the Justice Department doesn't charge him with perjury immediately, we have completely lost our country to corruption. There is no way to explain himself out of this one, folks. It's as clear as day. But that's not all Fauci lied about. After testifying that his financial disclosures were publicly available, which they are not, it's just something he said to make it seem like he was being honest and transparent, to the sheep watching. Senator Roger Marshall received the records and published them. They show that Fauci had $10.4 million in investments, Chinese investments. One holding Fauci had at the end of 2020 was in the Matthews Pacific Tiger Fund, which invested, quote, 42.7% of its investors' capital on companies based in Hong Kong and China. Perfect vehicle to help China without directly helping China, right folks? The companies those investments went to were Tencent, owner of WeChat, which is of serious U.S. national security concern and complies with Chinese censorship rules, Alibaba, which China's Ministry of Science and Technology named a member of the CCP's national team for furthering artificial intelligence in 2017, and Wuzai Biologics, Cayman, which has ties to the CCP and reportedly signed a partnership deal with a Chinese municipal government regarding a, quote, party building alliance. Because this video is so important, we're considering uploading it to YouTube for the world to see once our paid subscribers have had a chance to view it. We just can't keep this to ourselves. It wouldn't be right, and we hope you all understand. It needs to go viral. Thanks for watching, America, and please, share this video to help us spread the truth, and at the same time, grow our new platform. We can't do this without you. We appreciate your support, and we love you all. This has been another segment of the Worth Report for January 18th. Keeping you vigilant, America. 2022. God bless you all. God bless President Trump and God bless America.